Hi, it's Emma at the Bead Shop in Nottingham and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an infinity macrame friendship bracelet. Um, we're using the macrame square knot and it has a sliding knot as well. We're going to be using size 8 seed beads and some eslon and an infinity charm. I've cut two lengths of eslon cord. One length is about a metre, the other about half a metre. I folded them in half and this is the halfway point and I'm just going to feed this through one side of my infinity charm and then pull it through. I'm going to reach my fingers through that loop and use them to pull the ends of the S long cord through. This is known as a lark's head knot. Um, it's a really good way of um, attaching any form of macrame to um, a charm just to begin or to other cords. So before we begin knotting, I've just secured my um, infinity charm to a macrame ball with a T-pin. I've taken the shorter lengths of my S long cord and using them together I fed both of those ends through six size 8 seed beads and then secured it at the bottom and these two pieces on the side are the longer lengths, these are our working ends that we're going to use to do the knotting. Starting on the right hand side, bring the right hand side over in making a loop, it can be a little bit fiddly, and then bring the left hand cord over the top of that tail of the right hand cord you're going then underneath the central cord with the beads and underneath and up through our loop okay and pull it through this is one half of our square knot pull it tight there we go and then to complete the square knot we do the same but on the left hand side this time so we take the left hand cord and make a loop we take the right hand cord and bring it over the tail of the other one underneath these central cords with the beads on and underneath and up through the loop and pull it tight and that is one complete square knot might seem a little fiddly but you're just going to be doing it over and over again so it will make sense i promise slide up one of your central beads to so this it sits next to the knotting and then we're going to do another square knot again so starting again on the right bring the right hand cord over and take the left hand cord over the tail under the central cords and up through your loop and you can see how the cords now go around the size 8c bead complete the knot by forming a loop with your left hand thread bringing the right hand one over the tail underneath the central cords and up through the loop and we've got another square knot there we go okay now we're going to be adding um, beads onto these outer threads okay so I haven't pre-threaded these I'm going to thread them on as I, as I go um, so again size 8 C beads and you're just going to thread one onto each side the reason why I haven't threaded them on beforehand is I just find they get in the way so I like to um, add these ones um, on as I go I just find it a little bit easier I've also cut the ends of my eslon um, to a point you can just see there it just makes it a little bit easier um, to thread onto my beads so now I've got a bead on each side we're going to do another square knot so again starting on the right just move my middle beads out the way there starting with the right bring the cord over then take your left hand cord take it over the tail of the right underneath the central cords and up through the loop and pull tight and you can see how the beads that we've just added they just turn and sit sideways and they sit quite neatly complete by doing the same on the left so bring the left hand cord over then take the right hand cord over the tail under the central cords and up through the loop and that is our second full square knot and then we're going to go um, back to moving one of the middle beads up there we go and yeah we're going to do the same thing again so again start on the right you're going to bring that right hand cord over the left hand cord comes over the tail under the central cords and up through the loop and pull tight 
bring the left hand cord over, the right hand cord comes over the tail, under the central cords, and up through your loop. Lovely. And then we're going to add another bead onto each of our working threads. There's one. And the other. And then again, we do another square knot. So starting with the right, make a loop. The left hand cord comes over the tail, under the central threads, and up through the loop. Beads sit nice and neatly. Then we take the left hand cord, bring it over. Right hand cord comes over the tail, under the central cords, and up through the loop. You're going to carry on until you have used all of your beads. So you'll have six beads on that central thread and then five pairs on the outside. Once you've done all, used all your beads, I've just done an extra four square knots to finish. Use a little bit of the GS Hypo Cement glue on the ends before cutting off those working threads. That's one side done, and we're going to repeat that exact same process on the other side of the Infinity Charm. Once you've done both sides, um, it's time to do our sliding knot. First of all, make a fist and wrap your um, bracelet around the widest part of your fist. And you can see where I've made those knots. That's the is telling me the widest part of my bracelet. Okay. So you're going to take the two ends and fold them over so they overlap like so. Then you want to take another section of S long cord about 50 centimeters long, take it underneath all of those threads, get it to the middle and then just tie the two ends together in an overhand knot. Just a simple overhand knot, nothing fancy and try and get the ends reasonably um, equal and then we're going to work downwards doing square knotting again. So starting again on the right, you want to take the right over and lay it over the top of the cords, bring the left hand over the tail and then it's going to go underneath all of those cords that I'm picking up and then coming up through the loop and pull it tight. And then we're going to do the same on the left, making sure that you're going underneath all of those central cords before coming up through the loop and pull it tight. That's a complete square knot. That in itself is a functional sliding uh, knot. To make it a little bit more decorative, you can keep going and do as many square knots as you want. I'm going to do about five or seven um, just to make it look pretty. So just carry on until the uh, clasp section is as long as you want it to be. Once you're happy with how your sliding knot looks, we're going to bring in the GS Hypo cement again just to secure this knot off. And I'm just going to apply a little bit where these tails exit the knot, okay? Um, obviously, you need to be really careful when applying glue to this that you need to be able to move the ends. It needs to be a functional sliding knot. So just apply a small amount of glue um, just to, as I say, where those threads are coming out. And then what I'm going to do is just move each of these ends, so pull it just as uh, as you would when you're putting the bracelet on and off, just whilst the glue dries to make sure that it's not um, sticking to those central cords. You might need to keep retightening the knot if it comes apart just a little bit, um, just until you're happy that the glue has dried but it's not stuck. Once you're done, trim off the ends, any excess, and then I've just added a bead to the end of my threads and then put another little knot on the end just to secure that. Um, and your, that is your Infinity Macrame bracelet done.